Hello friends, hope everything is fine with you guys. So till now we have seen how we can retrieve HTML content. I mean how we can get values of HTML content. And also we have seen how we can set content to an HTML element. Now in this lecture we will create HTML content using jQuery. So let's see how we can do that. Let me tell you it's really very simple. It can be done using variable. So let's create a variable say text1 and assign it. Let's provide single quote. So where text1 equals p. So it's a paragraph tag. Let's close this paragraph and let's write here something say I am text1 and inside it let's provide a class assign it text1 now don't forget to provide a semicolon now hit enter and now create a variable that is text2 and this is using let me write here a comment so this is using html method now let's see how we can do it using jquery so dollar inside parenthesis provide quote and let's write here p end it with p dot text so first we are creating it and then we are providing some text to it say i am text 2 and inside it let's provide a class equals text2 so this is using jquery and the third one is where text3 equals this time using javascript document dot create element p and now let's provide a semicolon so let's write here this is using javascript so these are the ways of creating html content so the first one is using html normal html it is so p with a class of text1 and it is written i am text1 and p with a class of text2 so this is using the dollar sign so dollar and then inside p with a class of text2 dot text so we are already assigning it and here we are not assigning just we are creating now we have already seen that how we can set html content so that's it friends in this lecture we have seen how we can create html content well actually this has a motive now let's right click open in browser see you can't see anything because we have only created it we are not using it we are not adding it anywhere so in order to make it visible we need to add it somewhere absolutely in our document only so in our next lecture we will take a look how we can add html contents using jquery so see you in the next lecture till then have fun take care